in the name of God. Hello everybody, my name is Javad Pemafat and I'm a PhD candidate at Iran University of Science and Technology. And I'm happy to present our paper about a new world level Persian lip reading dataset. I'm going to start with an introduction. Lip reading, also known in the research community as visual speech recognition, is a task of recognizing words or characters being said from a sequence of lip movements without any audio streams. The lip reading datasets can be fit into two categories, word level and sentence level datasets. Word level datasets are those in which each sample has a word tag. And usually the word offset of each sample word is exist in annotation files. At the sentence level datasets, a part of a video that contains an utterance or sentence is split. There are some challenges that make lip reading a difficult task. The first one is about wisdom the visual equivalent of a phoneme. So, the visual features of some phonemes are not different, and it makes it difficult. Another challenge is that there is a scarcity of data in language besides English, but many state-of-the-art methods need lots of data. Here is the related voice. There are some word level datasets in other languages like English and Chinese. Currently, LRW1000 is the largest dataset in this field, as well as the most challenging. It contains 1000 classes with 718,000 samples of Mandarian words from over 2000 speakers. On the other hand, LRW is the most widely used dataset that contains 500 classes with about 800 samples per class collected from BBC TV programs and about similar works in terms of method there are some good methods for word level lip reading and we choose the state of the art method called MSTCN for the baseline also we propose a new method that based on new Facebook research called A.B. Hubert and we use that model for word-based lip reading. The state-of-the-art method in word-level lip reading, as I said, is MSTCN, that is a multi-stage temporal convolution network. It consists of a 3D convolution layer followed by, a, by an 18-layer residual network a multi-stage temporal network and a soft, softmax layer. And the output of this network is the probability of each word. This method, which is based on BERT, that is based on mask language modeling. In the Avehubert model, first a part of the video input data is masked. And with the representation that it produced, the cluster number of each mask piece must be predicted. In this way, by using the training of this network, a good representation of sound and image is produced. In this section, I'll talk about our dataset. Our dataset is a word level Persian lip reading dataset, and here is a some thumbnails of samples in our dataset. That includes our 500 vocabularies and 30 hours of clips of more than 1,800 celebrities, extracted from raw videos, and there are 244,000 of video samples in our dataset. In this section, I'll describe the pipeline we use to create datasets from raw videos.
Here is an overview of how to build the dataset. First of all, we must choose raw data. For our dataset, we chose one of the three types of videos. Interview videos, movies and series, and videos from VOD platforms like Apparat. In the second step, with the video scene detection module, each video is divided into several parts each of which is considered as a scene. And the content of the frames does not change much in each scene. After that, in the third stage, we utilize the S3FT method for face detection and an IOU-based algorithm for face tracking. One of the most crucial steps for producing the appropriate dataset in this stage Active Speaker Detection So, a speaker is called active when his or her face is visible and the voice is audible at the same time For Active Speaker Detection, we use TalkNet This model was trained on the AVA dataset which is roughly 40 hours with precise labeling and is Composed of a variety of languages. They utilize YouTube videos as the source for collecting the dataset. The TalkNet model detects active speaker on Persian videos quite effectively, according to tests conducted on a test data. We also used a speaker diarization to detect video samples with more than one speaker and we pruned them. And then we used the commercial automatic speech recognition to construct sentence level video transcription. We collect the words from each video's transcription and form the dictionary of vocabularies and their frequencies. We select our keywords from the top frequent words. And for increasing the diversity of selected words, we use a lemmatization and remove those words that had a common lemmatization, except for the most frequent ones. Finally, we split our videos based on the keywords that were chosen. Each video is padded with 200 milliseconds, the first 100 milliseconds and the last 100 milliseconds of the video are included. To make a speaker independency on the data set, we utilize face recognition to produce test set and training set. In this section, I'll describe our experiment results with two methods on our data set. About our experiment on MSTCN, we achieved about 14% microaverage accuracy. We utilized the A.V. Hubert approach to create another baseline for our dataset. This method is for lip reading at the sentence level. In this case, we used it as a feature extractor. Since word level lip reading is a classification task, the model must assign each input to a class. To this end, we obtain the embedding vector of each frame by feeding the input video to a pre-trained A.V. Hubbard based model. And these features are given to two linear layers. The average of logit values for each class were used to obtain probabilities for each class. With our proposed method, we achieved better accuracy about 25%. And here you can see the accuracy plot for training set and validation set. And here we can see histogram of real class prediction ranks. For example, the value of this function for x equal 1 is 985. 
indicating that the actual class is predicted as the second highest score for this many samples in the test set. And here are the conclusions. In this paper, we presented a dataset for Persian board level lip reading. This large dataset is suitable for the proposed method uh, based on deep learning. We also tested the dataset with the best model of word level lip reading on the LRW benchmark. We also proposed a novel method for word level lip reading, and based on the results, this model outperforms the previous method. Interestingly, the feature extractor model is trained only on English datasets. Thank you.